Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So yesterday I did a glue crew video and I made this little glue book. I wanted it to be more on the vintage side. So I bought a vintage paper pack and here's my cover. I haven't decorated my cover yet. I might not, I might just leave it, I'm not sure. Um, and then I used not only the paper from the paper pack, but also some vintage encyclopedias like this right here. And it has really thick pages. So some of them I picked because obviously I love this to collage on. The back, not so much, but I do like the words. So that'll be nice. And then like this, um, this page, obviously I loved it because it has uh, the ledger paper, but on the back, you know, obviously these are cut out, so that doesn't look so great. But once you add stuff on top, it'll look fine. I love this B thing right here. Here's more of the vintage encyclopedia, but this paper is just gorgeous. I love it. And there's this gold foil on here. So I'll just do a quick little flip through so you can kind of see what I've got going on here. Look at this page. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. It was in one of my vintage books. I love looking for vintage encyclopedias and stuff like that um, at the thrift store. So I had a couple that I haven't dug through yet. And so I went through and I um, took out a bunch of pages and then I went back through and cut out a few things, which is these right here. I mean, I have a whole bunch, they're all over here, but um, these are what I'm gonna use today. There was like a bird watching page. So I cut out a bunch of stuff from that. But yeah, it's super cute. I'm really excited to play in this and uh, um, make lots of fun collages. Okay, and then I have, I received the cut and collage book, cut out, the cut out and collage book. Okay, it's super cute. So right off the bat, I love that it's square. Um, this was $9.99 on Amazon. Now, a couple things I noticed. One, the paper's thin, but I like that. As a glue booker and a collager, I like my papers to be thin. I hate it when it's super bulky on there. Um, and then there's like this tan background. So people were really interested in seeing a flip through of this. And I love the images in here. They're very different. And I love that they made like little collaged animal people. So that will be fun to use. And then the back just has this kind of flower motif on it. But like, how cool are these, right? So I'm super excited to use um, the images from this book in this new glue book. That's kind of where I was going with that. I'm not a huge fan of these, but I'll use them. And obviously some pages are better than others. Do I think it was worth the $9.99? I mean, yeah, I'm happy I got it. Um, I can see... I don't know, some people might not like it as much, but I really like it. I like this doily and I like um, the pink paper and I like how there's like torn papers and stuff like that. There's really a big eclectic mix of images in here and that's what I really like about it because you have some vintage and like this is like not vintage to me at all. This is more like 80s or something, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just what it makes me think of. And then you have these letters for like ransom note words. Um, lots of bits. And then like this is like torn tape um, that obviously you would fussy cut out. And here's more of those people. I mean, the people alone would make me want to buy this book. Or I guess they're not people. They're like animals. A whole blue page. I mean, come on. Very like 80s, 90s right here. Love that. Love the butterflies. I don't know. It's just really unique. Like the images in here and stuff. More ransom letters. I know there's a ton of you flamingo lovers out there. More lanterns, flowers, which I absolutely love. Obvi, super cute. Love this. A little cowboy stuff. Birds. This is just so cute as it is. <laughs> I just love it. I can't wait to cut these out. I mean, they could have added more things on here. Come on. This is pretty, you could cut these out individually or use this as a background. 
But see what I mean? It's a very eclectic mix of images and I've not seen that in a collage book before. So this is adorable. Very cute. More of the little animal critters. Ooh, I like that. I might have to use that. These are awesome. Gotta love these. Butterflies. I didn't even notice that one. <laughs> Little fish. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's weird that they put this black image on black paper and she's wearing black. Sh oh, that was a bad idea. Super cute though. So yeah, that's it. That's this book. Oh, it's made in the USA in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right. So yeah, the cover's adorable. Um, this is why, this is what really attracted me to this book was the cover to be honest so let's play in my book so I think I'm going to start with the bird page just because I had all those things out um I really liked that so I here was a little bit of the encyclopedia of it was, a, it was like an article about bird watching and Audubon Society and all that stuff. So I just kind of tore this little bit out as some background. So I think what I'm going to do, I have to find it first. There it is. I'm going to go around this with some of my fern green archival ink. All right. I'm also watching a live stream right now. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm killing two birds with one stone. Ew, I hate that saying, especially since I'm doing a bird page. Um, but I've been following this true crime case about this little boy that was missing and it's not good. But anyways, I'm waiting for the mom to be arrested because she did it. And so I'm watching the live stream of this. So anyways, sorry. <laughs> You guys, true crime is my my life. I absolutely love it. I actually considered doing a true crime channel before doing a craft channel, but it's just too stressful. You have to be on the ball all the time, and no. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that down. Oh, and I also have my Loads of Ephemera sticker book that I got. I'll link both of these down in the description box. So I want to use some of these because obviously I have flowers. And then I also have this wonderful vintage sticker book that was gifted to me from my Amazon wish list. And I flipped through there and there are some birds in here. So I might use some of those and there's fun little tickets and stuff like that. So I have this out to use. That'll be really fun. And then I have a bunch of birds and owls that I cut out of a, um, uh, what do you call that? Oh, field guide, field guide. Uh, that I got at the thrift store. It's a field guide of birds. And so I just cut all those out. I have I need to cut more because I've gone through a ton of them. Let's put the birds over here. And then I also cut out some things that are Sherlock Holmes. So here's that. And then here's that. And then here's what he looked like. And um, I also have background paper that talks about Sherlock Holmes that I'll use as background as well. It's sitting up here away out of the way. All right. Clearly, I'm not prepared. I thought I was. Oh, and look at this beautiful number five I got out of my encyclopedia. Isn't that so cute? So excited. Okay. I really want to, after I'm done with my video today, I'm going to go and cut out more from my encyclopedias. I don't know why I haven't been doing that, but. All right. Let's glue this down. So, um, Jackson had a scary event happen on Monday, which is why I didn't film a video on Tuesday. Um, I got a call from Jackson, the call that you'd never want from a child, saying there's a shooting and we're hiding in this room, yada yada, what do I do, come get me, all this stuff, right? So Jackson was in his welding class, um, metals class, and he was working on a machine and he heard these sounds, but he thought they were like somebody hitting some metal or something. And, um, cause he was working on machines. So it's really loud in there. And he heard his teacher yell, but he just, he didn't really pay attention because he's like a, uh, a helper in that class. So usually when the teacher's like saying something, something to the kids, it's not directed to Jackson. 
So he was like, huh, okay. And uh, next thing he knows, his friend is grabbing him and is like, Jackson, let's go. Come on, get down. There's a shooting. And he's like, what? And he froze. He was so scared. Um, it was right outside his classroom. And so his teacher grabbed everybody and had them go into the welding room and hide. And uh, his teacher's super young too. He's like, early 20s and so anyways Jackson the next day when he went back to school went and told his teacher he's like hey good job yesterday teach you know thank you for keeping us safe and everything um but yeah it was pretty scary I went and picked Jackson up and everything was fine um he was fine I mean after like chilling out you know uh from that but yeah it was pretty traumatizing he was pretty scared and so was I so Tuesday, I just, I didn't do a video because I just wanted to have my phone ready and me be ready in case something happened or he needed me or whatever. And so, yeah. Okay. I am sweating bullets. You guys, I've been sick this week um, with like a cold and I had like a really bad migraine on Sunday. And ever since then, oh crap, I wanted to put this under there. I already smushed it too. Oh, well, guess that's not happening. I guess I could just put it like that. I don't know, maybe I'll wait on that piece. Okay, let's pick out a bird. So anyways, I've been having these like residual headaches since then and it just sucks. Oh, should I put that there? I kind of like that there. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, let's put that there. Yeah, so it's been weird. So I keep getting these like, you know, Fibromyalgia has a lot of symptoms and not everybody gets the same symptoms. Sometimes people just get some of them. Some people get all of them. You know, it's different for every person. And I've been, I get like little fevers and stuff, which is why I say I'm always sick. I never know if I really have a cold or it's my fibro. This time I think it's definitely a cold because like my throat was hurting and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it, oh, where'd my, where'd the little orange piece? Here it is. I don't want to cover that up though. Okay, let's keep going with the birds before I add this stuff. So anyways, oh my gosh, this morning it was so funny. <laughs> Jackson and I were talking before school and, you know, we kind of hang out and watch some TV and stuff in the mornings. And um, he was talking about, there was these words, um, like, I don't know. Anyways, he was saying, did you know there were so many words for this? Yada, yada. And I was like, no. I said, but imagine if you were a doctor, you would have to learn all of those when you're in medical school and memorize them. He's like, man, that's insane. And I'm like, I know. So he was kind of talking about like what he would like his kids to be when they grow up. The kids, you know, he doesn't have because he's 15. Um, and I'm like, yeah, could you make one of them a chiropractor, please? And he's like, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> And I said, and he goes, mom, is there anything you've, you've wished me to do when I grow up? And I'm like, no, I just, you know, whatever you want, I just want you to be happy and have a career that you enjoy. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. Hold on. Backtrack. I ruined it. Oh no, that was right. Okay. And then he goes, yeah, I mean, I get it, but is there anything you really wish I would do? And I, I turn around and I go, yeah, be quiet. <laughs> and he starts cracking up because it was, you had to have been there. It was really funny when I said it. <laughs> I just totally ruined it too, trying to tell you guys. But it was funny. And yesterday when we were driving to school, we, you know, I always listen to music and I'm always dancing and stuff. I like him to have a good day. So I kind of make our, our ride kind of crazy. And uh, anyways, he's on the radio, it said, you might see a lot of kids riding their bikes to school and walking today because today is National Walk and Ride Your Bike to School Day. And Jackson and I turn and look at each other. We were like three blocks away from his school, uh, waiting in line to get in. And he looks at me and he goes, don't even say it. And I go, yeet, get out. <laughs> He's like, no. And I said, yeah, it's National Walk Your Butt to School Day. <laughs> He's like, no. It was, again, you had to have been there. It was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jackson and I, I'm telling you, we have some good times. Okay, what else? Maybe I'll put that, like, right here. Should I go around that in green? Why not? Let's go around. I don't know why I keep putting the green away. I'm using, oh, I didn't. I left it out. Eh. 
Okay, here we go. Ugh, you can tell when I don't feel good because my brain gets foggy and I'm like all over the place. All right. Today we have some workers coming over to look at our yard. We've been wanting to add cement around our back patio for years. And um, like 10 years ago, we had somebody come out and look at it. And he's like, yeah, you know, it'll be like, I can't even remember how much, thousands and thousands of dollars. And I was like, yeah, no. So we've just kind of been putting bark dust back there um, until, you know, we figure out what we want to do. And then with COVID and all like the wood being so expensive, we can't put a deck back there because it's just too much. And so we had his cousin, Bob's cousin, who owns uh, a really nice um, landscaping business to come check it out and give us some um, options that are affordable. And so we're getting some stuff done. So his workers are coming over today to kind of look at the backyard. So now I have to like make sure the dogs don't aren't out like going to the bathroom or something. Um, when they come over, so I'm kind of on watch for them. But I'm excited because every time the dogs come in, they have like dirt on their paws if like it's wet outside or anything. And it gets on the carpet, even though we have these special rugs. Um, so I have to wipe their feet and stuff. Sherman hates it and he's sometimes a butthead about it. Zena's great. She comes in and sits right down, right on the, right on the rug. We have like a dog rug. I thought that sounds weird, but it's like a rug that's supposed to help catch dirt and um wetness and stuff so she sits there while I while I clean her little paws all right <laughs> oh I have a circus thing too that I cut out look at this I could use these even though I'm not a huge fan of the circus because you know animals and everything but that would be cute Ooh, definitely gonna do that all right let's see what do I have here I wonder if I should do like some butterflies, not birds, but I don't know. Oh, look at this little bird. Ooh, I like this one. Let's add this one somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe right there. I don't know. I don't really like that, but that's okay. All right, moving on. Halloween. Ooh, very Silence of the Lambs. Little children. Okay, I need a bird or something. Birdie. These would be great for my Sherlock Holmes page. Ooh, gosh, now I have so many pages. Okay, so I have my Sherlock Holmes, Circus. Definitely want to do both of those. Okay, here we go. Um, maybe some eggs. Oh, I really like this one. I wanted something a little smaller to go over here. Oh, you know what? Did I have like magnifying glasses? Or not magnifying glasses, binoculars. Did you guys see those? Did you tell me? Okay, let's look. Let's see if there's binoculars because maybe I can use those because this is all about bird watching. Binoculars. I mean, I could put those, but that's not really the same thing now, is it? Hmm. I feel like there are though. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I'll use these. Let me put this little thing right here. Where was I at? Over here. Okay, let's look for some binoculars. Ooh, I do like the little eggs though. Put an egg and a green egg. Green eggs and ham. You hear Sherman snoring over here? It's very clingy to me today. All right, I could put a butterfly, which I do like, but ooh, some ants. I don't want that. I might put a mushroom or something right there. I really want binoculars. Man, this sticker book is awesome. Oh, you know what I have? Oh, oh! Would he fit right there? I kind of feel like I have to try it. Oh, not really. I mean, I could put him like right there. Hmm. Not overly thrilled with it. Oh, pff. literally right here. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, I like it because he's like looking. Okay, let's see. 
All right, let's leave that. Now I have, I want to use one, uh, one of these. I was thinking like a little, maybe I could put a little mushroom right there. That's too big. I need a little mushroom. Just a little mush. Need a little mush. Is this little? That is not little. Oh wait, is this one little? No. Let's see, do I like either one of these? Which way does this go? Like this? I don't, I don't really like either of them. Darn it. Okay, let's see, maybe I want a flower. Let's check these little flowers out. Maybe I just want to put, that's too big. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. Like he's behind the trees looking at a bird. I'm just going with that. Ain't nobody got time for finding 5,000, going through 5,000 stickers. There we go. Get in there, get in, get in, get in. Ah. Oh my gosh, you guys. I made um, our friend Bud's daughter she just had surgery and I made her a little glue book cause she likes to glue book. Um, she likes to watch my videos, but I don't have them for kids because sometimes I say naughty words. Um, but anyway, so I put this whole kit together for her. All right, you little, <clears throat> there we go. I got it. Hold on. I got it. There we go. All right. Oh, I wish I had my little tweezers with me. Let's just go like that. Okay, and then I think I need to cut up. I just need to cut out this little bit of sticker. Ah! I gotta stab myself. Not hard, don't worry. Okay. All right, so we have that. I really don't like that. Okay, what else can I put? I don't know, maybe this number five right here. That dumb. I don't know. I feel like it goes, so I'm just going to do it. I don't even care. And I'm not going to go around the edges on it because I just want it to pop. I feel like if I go around it with green, it will um, I don't know. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> okay. Let's just why is there a five there? No clue. Ooh, whoops. Having a little bit of anxiety right now. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay. Um, I haven't like collaged in a while, so I think that's kind of my problem. Okay. All right. So I love that page. Should we do another one? How much time do I have? Hmm. I mean, it's not bad, it's not great. Oh, maybe a word or two, let's look. Let's see if maybe there's, this is the Tim Holtz big chat. Let's see if there's just like one big word. Obviously I want to go to the black cause those are my favorite. Let's see, is there anything <laughs> alive? Let's see, did I already use fly or anything like that? I could put happy, imagination, Magnify. Um, sky. Thankful. Hmm. Is there a word look? Oh, looking. Let's just put looking. Oh, is it admiring on here? It is not. It should be. Let's just put looking. Where though? Looking, that's crooked. Oh God, that's bothering me so bad. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I don't like it there anyways. Um, Glue, just put some glue on this. Oops, too much, too much. Abort, abort. Put it right here. 
don't know, just kind of fills up that gap a little bit. Okay, computer, stop. My live stream ended, so it's making noise. Okay, so I've got that. Let's see, is there another one? Magnify, I need something over here. I need a butterfly or something, that's what I need. I need a butterfly. Oh, where's my ephemera holder? I think I have a butterfly in here. I mean, I know I do. But where is it? Butterflies. Should I go with like a... No. Black and white, maybe? Does a butterfly not work? I don't know. I'm having trouble with this one. I might just have to leave this one and then come back to it if I find something that I like. Um, hmm. Could put like a, a label. Put something on there. I feel like there's already so much on here though. I don't know. Okay, since I'm undecisive on what to put there, I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Oh, I could put a flower, like maybe like half on. I do kind of like that. I don't like this little bird here. Will it come off? Can I go over here? Just put that little bird over there. Where'd my thing go? Oh, here it is. You know what? I do like that. Let's do that. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Just going to put a little flower. All right. Put this away. And do I ink it? Yes, I am going to ink it. I'm going to go in with a little bit of brown. Just to give the petals a little bit of definition so it pops off the page a little bit. Not because I want it to look like antique or anything, but when you ink around edges of things, it makes them pop out of the page. So that's why I do that. I like the way it looks when it pops. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Let's do something like that. All right, glue. Gluing. So I talked to the glue crew about this a little while back about, um, you know, postage is so expensive and I would love to do more giveaways. It's just so expensive to send things places, especially overseas. So I was thinking, what if I did like a, a giveaway where um, I did like one-on-one -on -one glue time with you for like an hour or something like that, you know? Would anybody be interested in that or is that dumb? Um, I don't want to sound full of myself or anything, but I know I would love to create with, um, other people and stuff like that. I think that's fun. Or we could do it as a group with like maybe me and three of you or something like that. You know, Ooh, my ears are ringing really bad right now. Not good. All right. Sorry. I'm trying to get these flowers off my fingers. Every single petal just glued to my finger. Okay. I like that. That's not bad. Okay. It's a little crowded for me. I normally don't do things so crowded, but I don't hate it. And, you know, I had fun. That's all that matters. Um, I'm not entering this into an art contest or anything. So I definitely want to do a page with, um, let's see. I also have Mona Lisa that I cut out. So I want to do the Sherlock Holmes. And I saw some pipes and stuff in here, like tobacco pipes. And then I also have the circus image um, and I cut out a bunch of like little animals and stuff. This one reminds me of Xena because she's orange and white like a fox. Um, I really like Mona Lisa on this page like this. I almost just want to put her on there and leave it. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It just looks so pretty to me. Right? I don't know. I really like it. Should I just glue it down? Should I? I'm going I'm doing I mean but it but it but it that's all folks. I'm gonna do it. Life is too short. No 
<clears throat> Sorry, guys. I was going to say no regerts. All right, here we go. Let's just glue. Oh, I didn't ink around the edges. Yikes. That's going to bother me now. Oh, well. Tis what it is. Ah. Okay. There we go. Make sure it's even. Um, where'd my scraper tool go? Right here. All right, guys. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you think that would be fun to do things like that. Um, you know, a little one-on-one -on -one glue time with me as, you know, something to do for a giveaway. Um, and also, I will have these things linked in my description box if you're wanting to check these out for yourselves and see what they look like and their cost and all that kind of stuff um but yeah gosh you guys i'm happy with it i had fun i hope you guys had fun too um i really hate this bird i'm sorry i have to do it i have to put something else there later but i just i don't like it i'm gonna put this bird somewhere else oh here i have this piece of plastic from the sticker so I'll just put that on there and set it aside and I'll use that on something else. But what if I put like, hold on. <laughs> I have like, I cut out some animals the other day. Like what if I put like <laughs> this little snake right here? I don't know why I like it, but I, <laughs> but I do. Look at it. It looks good with the green. Okay, I have to glue this down really quick. Sorry guys, don't hate me for doing this. I know some of you are going to be like, ew, snakes, bleh. It doesn't go with Mona Lisa. You know what? It goes. You know why? Because I said so. Because it's my glue book. And I do what I want. I do what I want. All right. Let's do that. Plus, animals are gorgeous. I love snakes. My husband said that he would move out if I got one, though. So, <laughs> I can't have one. Although, I think he'll get the hint if I come home with a snake. He'll be like, oh, okay. I see how it is. Oops, I can get this side down all the way. There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, Deb, remember that sticker book you got me like a year and a half ago? And it was like a book that had activities and animals and stuff. I went through there. I've been using the stickers in my sticker book. And I went through there and cut out a lot of the animals from that book. So that's why I've been doing it at night. So this is one of them, Deb. Let me know if you remember that. And like, here's an elephant from there. Uh, a gecko. Here's a rattlesnake. I'm sorry, a cobra. So yeah, I've been having fun. So I really want to add like just random animals in here with this. And then I didn't even use anything from that cutout and collage book. So I will have to go and cut out a bunch of stuff um, for that. But yeah, I'm excited. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed a little bit longer video. Let's see how long have I, oh yeah, it's a little bit longer. <laughs> Some of you have asked for longer videos and uh, you ask and you shall receive. I hope you guys have a fabulous day today and until next time, bye.